Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics, and we are going to, going to pick back up with Pygame. So, alright, uh, let's just see where we are. We should be where, let me make sure we can see, okay, cool. So, alright, right now, how the functionality is, is that I press the button, it goes at one rate. And the inadvertent, unintended consequences is the more I press it, the faster it goes. But that's, let's do it as I want to hold it down. And then when I let go, it will stop. So, all right, we have to use the functionality of key up. So, to remind you, pressing the contact down is key down, Re the release is key up. So, all right let's let's add that and this is going to be an event and the key up uh, key up so all right if you're new here uh, thanks for joining us if you've not subscribed please go ahead and do that we have videos coming out all the time and I don't want you getting behind and if this if this is the type of video you like please go ahead and click that like button for me key up so all right then change X now alright so let's go through this functionality just a little touch more so alright inadvertently when we were pressing the the arrow keys to the right or left the more we pressed it it increased it either increased to the negative or increased to the positive so then if we were going backwards we had to hit the plus if it was going minus or vice versa so really when we have this key up action what do we want the change to be we want it to become zero so all right let's test this and make sure we have this right so now press down let up press down let up boom let's go through that one more time so all right the way that this was working when we were pressing it down each time we depressed the key the press down this happened so it added the amount of five either negative or positive but we want it to the functionality that we're going to do this time the more explicit the more exact the more direct is hold down hold down move at a certain constant speed let up stop that's why this goes to zero stop so then when that loop comes through it adds this to its location and freezes so all right everybody good on that so now right now we have a right and left let's go ahead and add up and down so all right if event dot key equals pi game dot key up up oh, these are all capital that took me a while to remember that okay change y increment there we go if event dot key pi game not python pi game dot key k down change dot y increment five and then we need to create our move y increment change y all right let's test this 
I always have a hard time remembering this. Oops. Let's see. And I misspelled right here. Event, event. Cool. Okay, that those are right. Alright. Okay. What did I forget? Now I need to get my key up. Now, okay, so this is this is weird. All right, negative negative five. You would think that it would go up and down, but up is negative, and down is positive. Okay, so all right, let's get our. So if we have any. Y equals zero. So okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. Boom, 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 boom. All right, I was doing that. So up, done, left, done, down, done, right, done. So cool. There is your functionality, and you can even now. The only problem is. You can get it to go diagonal, but the second you remove one key, there it is. But we have our single action right here. So, awesome. About seven minutes. Okay. I hope you guys are getting something out of this. We're slowly, see how we're slowly building one thing at a time? Don't get overwhelmed. Take this one little bit. Do it, test it, move on. Do it, test it, do go on. I remember when I was first doing this, I was getting so overwhelmed. Then I read, just do it a piece at a time. And I was like, I can do that. I can add an image. I can get it to go to the screen. I can come up with a clock object. I can get it to move. I can get it to close. Then you just add one piece at a time. So all right, there's my little spiel. So all awesome. So please don't forget to click that like button. Give me a little thumbs up on that. And if this is the type of video you're liking, um, let's make sure we're subscribing and hit that notification bell. And I, my absolute favorites, please leave any comments, questions, or video requests because I love it. Help me, help me go in the direction that you need. I want this to be your channel. This is your channel. So all right, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys.